Hey fellow hobbyists, in part 6 of our Christmas kiosk series, we're going to be printing and then installing the electronics into the weather resistant enclosure. Because I plan on putting this outside, I need a weather resistant enclosure for it. I've designed the one that I'll show you how to assemble here. This is the rear frame that the touchscreen will sit on top of and be attached to. We're going to leave the screen protector on top of it for now because we don't want to scratch it as we go through the assembly process. So as we flip this over, you'll see there are six mounting holes in the frame that align with the mounting holes on the touchscreen. And I'm simply going to reuse the screws that came with the touchscreen to assemble it to this frame. Now while secure to the frame, this isn't weatherproof by any means. We do have a front cover that will go on top that will cover the gap between the touchscreen and the frame with some overlap onto the glass. And between those two, we'll install a gasket as well to help handle any dimensional offset between the two planes that have to be secured. For gasket material, I'm just using a weather stripping foam that I bought off Amazon. It's in the parts list that's link in the, linked in the description of the video. It's a peel and stick foam, uh, and I'm just cutting it to fit the uh, perimeter uh, of, the, of the frame. Now this frame again is oversized on the interior hole there so that it will make contact with the glass of the touch screen uh, and the exterior of the frame. So it covers both those surfaces to keep the moisture out. Before we can attach the front cover, we have to press nuts into all of the recess locations inside of the rear frame. I found this easiest to do with a, a screw with a nut on the bottom of it and then just pressing until I had filled each one of the locations. When attaching the front cover, make sure not to over tighten the fasteners or the cover will bow due to the pressure of the underlying gasket and it won't seal out the water well. The model for the rear frame is actually two parts. It's the frame with the front nut plate and then a separate part that is the rear nut plate. You have to glue or epoxy that on and then secure it till dry. Once the rear nut plate is dry, we'll apply a gasket to it just like we did to the front cover. Same material, just cut it to fit, press it securely in place, and that will be the protective layer between the rear nut plate and the rear cover. The last step is to secure our 5 volt power source, a USB charging hub in this case, to the front cover with some peel and stick velcro and then secure the cover with the fasteners. Just like the front cover, don't over tighten or it'll warp and you'll get leakage on the back panel. That gives us the final assembly steps for our Christmas kiosk.